Hi, I'm Myra Ferguson for Ajar Productions. And in this video, I'd like to show you a way that you can make portions of an image appear to magnify when you roll over them and then go back to normal whenever you roll off. Let's take a look at this example. Here I have an image of an x-ray that there's a portion in the center that looks a little suspect. Let's roll over that. And now we can get a magnified version of it. Now if I roll off a little bit, it goes away. Let's come down to this other portion on the side here and get a look. And there's another magnification. So I can roll over it, get the magnified view, and then roll off. Let's see how to set this up in InDesign. Here I have the layout. You can see that I've got the same image duplicated a few times. In this first version, if I double click on it, you can see that the magnification is at 25%. So that's just the size scaled down of that image. If I take a look at this next version and double click on it, you can see that it's at 75%. And then let's take a look at this other version and double click on it, and you see it's at 75% also. What I want to do is shift select this version of the image with this version, go over to the Object States panel, and click the Convert Selection to Multi State Object button. Now I've made a multi state object. But what I want to do is have a state where nothing is visible. So I'm going to add an empty state. I can go up to the Object States panel menu and click Add Empty State. And now I have this empty state, which isn't exactly empty, it just appears to be empty with this rectangle here that has no stroke and no fill. Now what we need are some invisible buttons. And this is where we can make it so that the object state that we want to appear shows up. Let's make an invisible button. Here I'm going to make a rectangle over that area in the center that looks like it's got something of interest. And then I'm going to make another rectangle over this area. To make an invisible button though, I want both of these to have no stroke and no fill. And then I can select one at a time from the Layers panel, go to the Buttons and Forms panel, turn it into a button, and add an event where it rolls over and goes to state. Then I can select the multi-state object and the state that I want. This one's going to be state 2. Let's take a look at this other rectangle, and I'm going to make it a button, and then it's going to be on rollover. I'm going to add go to state, and I'm going to select this state as state 1. Now there's this button right here where I can select to go back on roll off. And I want to do the same thing over here too so that when you roll off, you go back to the original view. All right, so let's take a look at this. I'm going to save this and export it. And let's take a look at our result. Let's hover over the center, and then let's hover over the side. And that's how you can make a portion of your content appear to magnify when you roll over it by creating a pop-up using a multi-state object and a button in InDesign and exporting with N5. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out N5 at N5.us, and if you like the video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks so much for watching.